Hey everyone, it's Flagfire. Battlefield 5 often gets criticized over historical accuracy. Many players complain over the game's artistic interpretation of some real-life events. But did DICE really do such a terrible job with historical detail in the game? For this video, I challenged myself to find some interesting things Battlefield 5 ripped straight from the pages of history, and some of them might surprise you. Here's a look at 10 of them. Before we jump into it, there are some spoilers for Battlefield 5's single-player stories ahead. So, let's start with Rotterdam. The map in Battlefield 5 is almost a one-to-one -one representation of the area surrounding the Willemsburg and the White House back in 1940 when German paratroopers swarmed the city. Some of the landmarks on the map can even be seen in newsreels of the invasion. While some aspects of the map were modified for gameplay reasons, many were faithfully replicated. The level of care spent in making Rotterdam realistic is truly impressive. Similarly, much of the same can be said for Narvik. A lot of the fighting on the map surrounds the docks that were historically used to load ore onto ships. Although these were destroyed and rebuilt over the course of the war, Geis was able to faithfully recreate the docks based on pre-war photography. The developers also nailed the overall feel of the map by showcasing the destruction the German invasion left in its wake. Many parts of the town burnt down, leaving so-called chimney forests. Meanwhile on Devastation, a unique event during a match can draw your eyes up to the sky. Preceded by air raid sirens and the drone of propellers, a German bombing raid will occasionally occur in-game. Now, this is a direct reference to the bombing of Rotterdam on May 14, 1940. Aside from the hazards of falling bombs, you'll also see some red flares. Historically, these were fired by German forces on the ground in an effort to avoid friendly fire from the Luftwaffe. Technically, fighting had ceased by the time the German bombers leveled the Rotterdam city center, so the representation in Battlefield 5 we see never actually materialized. Regardless, it is a jaw-dropping moment everyone can appreciate in-game. For our fourth detail, DICE did an incredible job recreating the heavy water plant at Vemork in the game's single-player mission, Norleafs. Their full attention was paid not only to the exterior of the building and the compound layout, but also to the interior of the plant, including some of the massive generators. DICE even got the paint scheme right. On the outside of the plant, the massive pipes carry water for the generators down the mountain, just like they did in real life. Next, let's look at the supply canisters in Battlefield 5. Squad leaders can call in one of these reinforcement drops in multiplayer, which resupply your teammates with health or ammunition. Interestingly, DICE created unique drop containers for each side. The Allied side uses the CLE, short for Central Landing Establishment. This container is cylindrical, while it's a different story for the Axis. Their container is styled after those dropped with a German Fallschirmjäger in World War II. DICE even included some special markings, which historically would denote the contents of the supply drop to German soldiers. As a bonus, there are actually some additional drop canisters as part of the environment on Fiel 652 and as aircraft resupply points. These are actually based on some early German container designs, including some that were actually used during the German invasion of Norway. Speaking of German invasions, Battlefield 5's Mercury map does a great job recreating the atmosphere of the aerial drops in 1941. The fighting on the map clashes with a gorgeous setting, making it slightly unnerving. Meanwhile, the idyllic landscape is dotted with DFS-230 gliders, and you can even see Fallschirmjäger descend from aircraft in the distance. Number 7 on our list is the sound created by the game's V-1. This flying bomb terrorized London during World War II, and very few examples survived. This meant DICE had to go to some crazy lengths to recapture the iconic sound of the terror weapon. Did they break out an old V-1 and launch it? Well, no, not quite. It turns out, in rural Sweden, some intrepid hobbyists build and race snowmobiles powered by the V-1 engine's design. It's not a hobby that I would personally take up, but developers used the opportunity to record the engine for Battlefield 5, creating the authentic sound you hear in-game. 
Up next, on some Battlefield 5 maps like Aerodrome and Mercury, you can spot a large radar dish. This dish is actually modeled closely after the Würzburg Riese radar system, employed by Germany to target enemy aircraft. It had a range of 70 kilometers and unmatched accuracy for directing fire against enemy bomber formations. In Battlefield 5, that giant dish also appears on Al Sandan and the game's tutorial level. Another historical element that strikes me in Battlefield 5 is the face mask on the Nachtigall uniform set. This was initially a progression reward for a Tides of War chapter, and it looks quite ominous. It turns out there's a good reason for that. Many of these types of masks were employed by the infamous German SS, and other variations also appear in Battlefield 5. Number 10 on the list is the MP28 in Battlefield 5. And no, I'm not talking about the weapon itself, but rather how it's actually held in-game. Many players felt the underhand grip looks goofy and unnatural, but it was not uncommon practice for the weapon to be held in this manner. The MP28 lacked any real foregrip, and touching a hot barrel wasn't really advisable, so this meant grabbing the magazine and guide to stabilize the weapon. Now, how that was done depended on personal preference and individual training just like it did with earlier SMGs like the MP-18 in World War I. In fact, this underhand grip made shooting the weapon while kneeling much easier, especially when your elbow rests on your knee. Since you've made it this far, let's check out a few more cool historical details. Zimmerit is one of the tank specializations in Battlefield V. This anti-magnetic coating is unique to the Axis faction, and it was designed to counter magnetic weapons that would stick to a tank's steel armor. After Germany developed the Haftholadung, a special magnetic-shaped charge weapon, they feared the Russians would reverse engineer it and thus develop Zimmerit as a countermeasure. In Battlefield 5, Zimmerit actually changes your tank's appearance with a telltale shingle look and prevents things like dynamite from sticking to it, making your tank harder to destroy. And speaking of tanks, let's briefly examine Battlefield 5's war story, The Last Tiger. The epic is set in the Rhine-Ruhr region, and the city is closely modeled after Cologne. There are a few details that reveal this, primarily the Hohenzollern Bridge in the final scene of the story. It was destroyed by the Germans in 1945, just as it was in The Last Tiger. Cologne was also the site of an infamous tank duel, and the desperation of Stefan's crew was all too real for those inside the Panther tank on the steps of the Cologne Cathedral. The next detail is one you'll miss unless you were paying close attention in Norlis. Both Solve and her mother Astrid don a paperclip at some point in the story. At first glance, it's used to open a set of handcuffs, but its true purpose is much more rhetorical than it is practical. In Norway during World War II, the paperclip was used as a symbol of resistance against the Nazi occupation of the country. Since symbols of the royal family were banned by the Germans, rebellious Norwegians turned something cheap, plentiful, and seemingly mundane into a symbol of national unity and resistance. Eventually, the Germans figured it out and made wearing a paperclip a crime. Before Norlis, it shows the moment Solvay fully embraces the cause and picks up where her mother left off. Our last detail surrounds the Liberté skin for Allied soldiers in Battlefield 5. It's one of a few skins that does make sense from a historical standpoint. It's a collection of various pieces of kit, something you'd expect to see cobbled together by a resistance fighter based on what they can scrounge up. There's an M15 Adrian helmet left over from World War I, a swarmy magazine pouch, an AMP T31 gas mask, and an armband bearing the insignia of the French forces of the interior. There are plenty of other historical details in Battlefield 5, so if you enjoyed this video, help support the channel. Please like, share, and subscribe to kick the YouTube algorithm in the teeth. Tell me in the comments which detail was your favorite, and if there's something you think should be in a future video, tell me down below. If you want to check out some other cool historical videos, make sure you check out my series on Battlefield Moments that actually happened in real life. You'll find a link to that here on the screen and in the video description. 
And lastly, I've got a couple giveaways coming up, so make sure you're following on social media. Links to those are down below as well. And as always, thanks for watching.